Hey, today I'm going to do a review on the Lassi Rugged Triple. Uh, this is the, happens to be the one terabyte, ten one terabyte hard drive. Uh, when I found out I was getting this hard drive, and went on YouTube. I couldn't really find anything I really liked, so I decided to go ahead and just do a video myself. This probably end up being too long as most of my videos are, but anyway, this is the Rugged Triple um, a hard drive by Lassi. Uh, Lassi was founded in Oregon, but they are now headquartered in Switzerland. Uh, they call it the Rugged Triple because it has three layers of protection on it. It meets the Department of uh, Transportation standards for ruggedness. Um, this is the drive itself. You can see it's not very big. Um, the first layer of protection is this outer part, which is the uh, rubber. And then uh, you have the uh, inner, uh, which is the aluminum case. And inside the aluminum case is the drive. And then each of these corners also has a rubber uh, bushing or bearing or I guess not bearing, the bushing, I guess you call it, on the inside. And that helps protect it again. So that gives you your three layers, the um, outer layer, the router, rubber outer layer, the aluminum case would be the second layer, and then the third layer would be the uh, rubber, whatever they call them, in each corner. And that gives you the uh, three layers of protection. And it is water resistant, not waterproof, but it is, it is water resistant according to the reviews I read. Uh, it comes with the USB 3 uh, cable, so you don't need to get that. And this one also takes FireWire 800. Um, you get that. It, they do have a Thunderbolt edition, but uh, I don't have that one. I got the uh, USB 3 edition. Um, the speeds uh, you can see uh, going from USB 2 down to USB 3 how fast uh, your download speeds will be so it is actually quite fast and uh, uh, so I really uh, I actually already use it I hooked it up in my uh, time machine it uh, downloaded uh, over 500 gigs onto the drive uh, in a little um, I started it it took about three hours to 1 p.m. and then uh, just before 4 p.m. it was completed so I thought that was pretty dang fast to have uh, it was like 503 uh, gigabytes transferred to the uh, to the hard drive. So um, that's it. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some specs. I'll go ahead and uh, show you how to set it up, and uh, I'll just insert those videos. And this is it. Well, let's see. One terabyte rugged triple hard drive. Go ahead and open up. Uh, disk utility and uh, we'll pull up the uh, drive it should automatically see it there we go there it is one terabyte let's see hard drive is right there so what we're going to do now is click on this here and we're going to go ahead and uh, erase the drive um, it is in uh, an MS DOS fat format which is um, typical um, these are your Mac options here um, Mac OS extended uh, journal which is just a regular hard drive if you wanted to encrypt it you would select this one here journal encrypted that way you can give your drive a password to protect it and obviously this is um, password protected which is case sensitive and um, this is here the same thing uh, it's journal case sensitive and encrypted and then MSOS DOS FAT32 basically is just your basic standard DOS formatted drive any fat or X fat, I think, is um, I believe is for um, it's a different type of format. I think it's a newer it's a newer DOS format. I believe it's for Windows and uh, Mac. I think is what it set up for. But I'm going to uh, go ahead and format the whole drive in Mac OS Extended. So that's what you want to do. Uh, just go ahead and click on Erase, and it's going to ask do you want to erase it. And yes, I do. It shouldn't take long to format the whole drive. Um, good. it's working it, it's almost there it go, it's done. So now it's formatted that whole drive there. So what we're going to do now is um, partition it. Um, you click on partition, click on this drop down box here. Now you can partition it into many partitions if you, as you want. But for demonstration purposes, I'll do three. And you can see it divides the drive equally. Um, so the very first one, I'm going to uh, make it Windows uh, partition. Uh, you want to do, you want to make sure it's Windows is the very first partition that you do. And uh, we'll do it in um, 
um, we'll just do it in DOS. And then um, I'm only gonna allocate 100 gig to Windows. And then the second uh, partition, I'm gonna set up as um, Time Machine. And then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and have, I'm just gonna do Mac OS Extended um, Journal. And then uh, I'm gonna uh, save uh, or make that 500 gig. And then um, it's automatically shows you what's left, 400. So I'm gonna uh, select that and we'll name that. Uh, I'm gonna make this videos. So that I can um, store my uh, Final Cut stuff to that, and um, make sure you change the format for that partition into MS DOS FAT and OX Extended for the other two, and then you gotta go into here and uh, change it from the GUID. Go into the options underneath the partition and change it from GUID, which basically means it's just a Mac uh, hard drive. Uh, change it to master boot record, which will run Windows and DOS. So you got to make sure you change that or it won't work right. Click on OK. And then uh, click on Apply. It's asking, do you want to make sure, it wants to know if you want to do that for sure. And I, yes, I do want to partition it. So it's going to go ahead and partition everything for me. And it's going to um, label the disk and stuff um, for me. And it's doing it. doesn't really take that long. So, what was that? 15 seconds, maybe? Okay, so my drives are populated to my other screen. Should have made uh, my background a different color. There's one. Oop, oh, let me put it on top of that. Let me just bring it back down. There you go. There's one. There's two. And there's three. There you can see the three uh, the three drives. Got my Windows drive or partition, my Time Machine drive or partition, and then my Videos drive or partition, depending how you want to look at it. And uh, this will be on your desktop. So when you save something, you just pick, go in and make sure you pick the drive and uh, save it to that drive. And that's it. Uh, as you can see over here, there it is. And there's all the, uh, the partitions labeled as the way I wanted them. And that's how you um, set up your LC drive and set up the partition. Oh yeah, one last thing. Sorry, I had to add this on because I forgot to say it. These are your drives, obviously, uh, which we went through there just a few minutes ago. Um, you want to make sure that you um, eject the drives um, before you unplug them. Uh, in case time machines running and you don't realize it if you unplug it you will screw up your hard drive and um, could damage your, your data so what you want to do is just you can click on any of them just double tap off your um, trackpad uh, eject whatever drive you're on and then it's going to come up with a pop-up window and it's going to ask you do you want to eject all uh, of the partitions or drives at the same time so you can just say um, eject all and it will take them all away, it will eject and shut them all off. And you can see they all disappeared from my desktop. So they're all uh, disconnected now and I uh, won't have to worry about uh, messing up my drive, hard drive. So make sure you do that before you disconnect any wires. But yeah, uh, one last thing, uh, go to Finder and click on Finder and then go to Finder Preferences and uh, make sure that this box is checked, external drives. Show these items on your desktop, desktop. if it's not checked, you won't see the drives on your desktop. So just make sure you do that under the finder preferences.